Hi there, Mar Haddad here. So in uh, this uh, video, I would like to show you for people who have already a Cisco certificate and they want to uh, recertify the, their certificates, then I'm going to show you how you can do the recertification of your certificate. So how can you renew the certification? So uh, Cisco, uh, normally in the uh, many years that uh, they have been on operational, the only way that was possible to recertify or to renew your certification was to redo the uh, exam or to do a higher exam. So if you have CCNA, for example, you do one exam of CCNP, then you can renew the uh, CCNA. So uh, that's something was uh, for many years, but a uh, couple of years back, Cisco has uh, introduced what is called the continuing education program. And uh, that's also, they use it to be able to recertify people uh, without the need to do the exam. So let me explain to you all this uh, over here on uh, the uh, uh, Cisco website. So if we go to cisco.com and uh, we go to learn and uh, let's go to certifications and exam. And over here, if we want to uh, see how to recertify. So you can see that they say to you that, uh, uh, that uh, you can recertify by taking an exam, which was before, it's still there, attend Cisco live training session, author exam items, complete online training courses, complete instructor-led training, and three years certification, recertification requirements. So you can see that, uh, uh, so forget about the last one, all of those are possible ways to recertify your certificate, to renew your certificate before it is expired, of course. So once it's expired, you can do those steps to uh, renew it. But uh, before it's being uh, uh, expired, you can do any of those ways, then you can renew it. So it doesn't mean that you only have to take the exam. It can be that you take the exam and you do the CE or the continuing education program. So that's possible. But what is CE and what does it mean exactly? So here, if you look, before we speak about that, they said, for example, if you have the CCNA or any associate level, so normally the um, uh, years that you have the certificate is for three years. Now, how can you renew it? So you can pass only one associate exam, then it is renewed. You can pass any professional exam or concentration exam. That means the higher level on the, the associate level, then it can be renewed. Pass one technology core exam can be renewed, one expert level. Um, that's also possible that be, you can renew. But also they mentioned here, you can earn 30 CE credits. So without you do any exam, if you have 30 CE credits, then you can renew your CCNA. Same on the, let's look on the CCNP or the professional level. Yeah, so the professional level to renew it, you can pass one technology core exam, which is on core, it's called the, the course, or you can pass two a separate professional concentration exam and uh, you can do the expert level or what you can do you can without doing an exam you can if you have 80 ce credits you can renew it directly or if you want you can pass one concentration exam and you use the 40 ce so you can see you, they make it like you do one exam and you do 40 ce then it is really renewed so that's really amazing the way how you can renew using the ce but what is the uh, CE exactly? Before I speak about the CE, let me just tell you, for example, for the CCNP, because we are talking about the CCNP. So here is the uh, uh, the website uh, for CCNP. So you can see that uh, if you want uh, uh, to uh, renew the uh, CCNP, this is what they say here. This is the core exam, which is called Encore. So this is the one core exam, then you have the CCNP renewed, or you can take two of those concentration exams, any two of those, or you can take, for example, one from those and use 40 CE. Or you don't do any exam, you just get 80 CEs and you renew your CCMP. So this is just an example to show you how this can be done. So what is the CE exactly? So what Cisco wants from you is that, okay, that's fine if you do the exams and you renew your certificates, that's fine. But also, they give you an option like, if you want to renew your certificate, yeah, you can, without doing the exam, but then you have to learn something. So they are asking their uh, students or their community that by just learning something new from Cisco, you can earn the CE uh, credits. When you earn the CE credits, you can use it to renew your certificates. So this is a nice way from Cisco asking people to learn something new, and once you learn something new, then you can renew 
your certificates. Now, how to learn those, uh, something new? What are the different ways to learn something new from Cisco? And how you can earn the CEs? That's something then you have to go to uh, the website of uh, Cisco, which is called uh, the uh, ce.cisco.com. So this is the continuing education program, ce.cisco.com. So you go over here and you go to the item catalog. And then over here, what you can do, you can say, well, let's say that I want, uh, yeah, I have uh, the CCNP, I want to renew it. Um, I need uh, uh, 80 credits. That's what we have seen here, that for the CCNP, you need 80 CE credits. Then what you can do, you can go to the Continuing Education Program, and you can search for a course that you want to see how much you can earn as credits. For example, here they say to you, that uh, let's look at, at the, for example, uh, this one, implementing an operation Cisco Enterprise Network Core. So which is the encore, this is Japanese now, but of course there is English if you search. If you take this course, you just get 64 credits. So in this way, what you can do, you can do one exam for uh, CCNP, and then you can, you can do uh, use from this 64, 40 credits, and then you can renew your CCNP. That's one example. But the good thing is that they say here that uh, you can earn the credits using any of those ways. So whether instructor-led training, so that means you go for a, a course uh, with a Cisco learning partner, you follow it, uh, normally it is five days, and then you get certificates, and then you can earn the uh, the CE's credits, you can uh, do that using the Cisco Digital Learning. Some activity, you, if you uh, join the Cisco Live Training, you can get it also. And uh, belt, the Black Belt Academy Online, that's, I don't know really what it is exactly. But uh, most of people, what they do, they just go to the instructor-led training. So they register for a training in their country with a Cisco Learning Partner, then they can earn the credits. Or to go through Cisco Digital Learning. So let's, uh, for example, search for something like implementing, see what we have uh, uh, as uh, courses. So yeah, maybe let's say that I'm interested on, let's take this one, this course. And then let's do search. So I can see that this course is uh, providing me 24 credits and it is provided by the Black Belt Academy Online. If you want to have some more details, you can just click on details, and uh, you can see that it is possible, this course, to take it via a learning partner or via the Cisco Digital Learning. Cisco Digital Learning, that means online. You study it yourself. You just uh, have full access. You sit at home, you study it. Normally, they give you access for 180 days, so you can study the course. Uh, you can do exams for every end of the chapters, Possibly you also sometimes you need to do labs. And by end of the course, you get a certificate that you have finished this course. All you need to do is just to click on it and then you can do search. What you, I have done already, I just uh, uh, went to the Cisco Digital Learning. I logged in into my account. And then over here, you can search for a course. So I searched for this course, which is called uh, SCORE. So this is one of the uh, uh, security, CCNP security courses. So uh, if you search for score, this is the one. You can see that uh, um, it is for 64 hours. This is the course. And look here, they say to you that you get credit of 64 credits. So once you finish this course and you pass this course uh, successfully by doing all the exams, so uh, what you will uh, get is 64 credits. So that's something you can use the continuing education, as I said. Um, you can uh, go to items, you can search for the course, you can see if you don't want to take the course yourself, you want to take with a learning partner, so that's also possible. So, so all you need to do is just write here score, that is the course, implementing and operating uh, Cisco security core uh, technology score. So and then um, what you uh, want to do is that you can, well that's all what you need to do actually. And uh, yeah, here you can say that I want to have the instructor led training. So you see who is giving this course in your country, for example. You search for it, and then uh, you can see that uh, there is uh, this one. This is the course, and it is provided as instructor led training. And uh, then you can just say a few details, and then it takes you to the learning uh, uh, partner locator. So there you can see 
who is uh, providing this course and then you can for example say which dates you want it which language uh, you want it to happen so over here you can see that this, these are some different training centers um, in different countries that you can join them so you can see you have 138 entries and by joining this course then you get the, the at the end a certificate uh, which is the uh, course completion certificate it's not uh, the real uh, uh, industry certificate that you get from Cisco it's just a certificate that you finish this course now once you find the, the course that you want and you register for it and you get these certificates all you need the certificate of course completion whether whether it was from instructor led or Cisco direct delivery or live training or whatever so all of those different ways then to be able to earn the uh, CE's uh, credits, then all you need to do is just come to submit item. And over here, you say that I have followed, for example, score course. And this was delivered as an example, instructor led training. And you can say which training center that you used. So whatever, let's choose one. And uh, then uh, you say, what is the starting date that the course has started? What is the ending date? And then you click on this one, and then you say submit. Then the Cisco will contact this uh, learning partner to say, is this correct? Then if you say yes, then you get the credits. And you see the credits under your My Dashboard. If you are doing the course, uh, for example, with Cisco Direct Delivery, and uh, the, with the, the Cisco uh, Digital Learning, then they ask you to add the a certificate here to upload it and the certificate ID that uh, you will get it on the certificate when you get it and then what all you need to do is submit and in this case you will get directly the credits then you see the credits inside your dashboard and once the credits are inside your dashboard to 64 so if you have already made one exam uh, was this concentration exam for CCNP I'm just taking an example of CCNP so for one concentration exam and you still need 40 credits then uh, to renew it then you will see the 40 credits will show up there and then it will renew normally for this to show from this system to show on your certification track on cisco it takes one two days to show so don't panic if you get the if you earn the uh, ce's over here the ce credits and doesn't show on your certification uh, track on uh, cisco website so don't panic because this needs one two days then it shows there and then you will see that your certificate will be renewed so that is all what i wanted to show you in this video how you can renew your certificates without the need to do the exam so what you can do you can learn something new from cisco then one you get more information and new information two you renew your certificates and that's really amazing what cisco is providing us as a feature to renew the certificates by just learning something new now remember every time you want to renew your certificate check if you are on associate level or specialist or professional or uh, expert and see how much credits you need and then once you know how much credits you need then you can see which course you want to take and this course how much credits will give you and when you finish the course then you submit it inside the ce websites once you submit the, that you have finished this course you get the you earn the ces and you can use the ces somewhere by renewing your certificates so this is all what I wanted to show in this video. If you like my way of explanation, please do not forget to put like on this video, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you are notified whenever I upload new videos on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and till next time.